If you're a recording artist and you wanna make music your full-time career, then this video is gonna be for you. If you don't know who I am, my name's Lizzie the Gifted. I teach recording artists how to produce their own music and how to attract loyal fans. Most importantly, I teach artists how to become full-time with their music. And I wanna share this super special moment. Um, I'm here in Tampa, Florida at my mentor, Austin Medlin's house. We're here for a big business retreat. I'm gonna be posting a vlog, full vlog episode probably next week, but I want to just come out here really quick and just rip a quick YouTube video for you because there's an important lesson I've thought about and it's really like who you surround yourself with. When you surround yourself with really high level individuals, you will win. And uh, actually my friend Melvin, I texted him a few videos of us getting sushi. Uh, I have a video of my mentor's car. He just got a fucking orange McLaren. It looks amazing. So I sent it to my, my friend Melvin and he was like, if you sit around the fire long enough, eventually you will burn, which is a good thing, right? You want the, pa the fire to burn, the passion inside of you. And I realized like, as I talk to a lot of artists in the DMs, on calls, even in my program, man, the mindset thing and just the beliefs that some people have are, are just, are crazy. They limit you. Like you get really limited by the actual thoughts that you have and that's really what holds people back and what really like kind of annoys me and i've really i've gotten better with my patience with this but what annoys me is when artists say things so matter of fact that are not true oh like hip-hop is dead or oh the industry man it's honestly just a bunch of bullshit oh the industry doesn't want you to win or oh like there's no way artists can make it these days or uh oh like you can't make it if you're a certain age you know, you just have all these limiting beliefs. It's just, I don't know. I really don't understand it. Like, I don't get it. Like, it's just craziness because whatever you're thinking is true. So it's not true because it's true. It's only true because you say it's true. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's, that's probably the biggest lesson I could take away. I'm around a bunch of other entrepreneurs this weekend and they're all in different industries. Mostly right now we've got fitness coaches, but there's fitness coaches, there's other business coaches. Um, there's all types of different coaches that are coming to this and all different types of business owners. And one thing we have in common is like, we really are all making a conscious effort to master our minds. Do we all have perfect mindsets? No, of course not. A perfect mindset is something you have to master day in and day out. But I've realized that as I'm here, every single person here really, really wants to try to make an effort. Like everyone's trying to make an effort to have a great mindset and to build a business for something better. We're not sitting around making excuses for why we can't make it. We're not sitting around making excuses. You know, I hear a lot of artists say, well, I'm not talented enough to make it, or I don't have time with my full-time job, or I'll never be able to make it in music. I started too late. Like all these different things. And it's like, bro, like you gotta stop, like you gotta stop the negative train and start getting on the positive train. It's just not gonna work for you. I know because I've done it. I've went from, I was at zero with my music career for 13 years and then i just went like that and did 77k in my you know 2023 and then it took me less than six months to do over 100k in 2024 why because i had a great mindset and i set myself around the right types of people and if you're not around those types of people you need to get around those types of people like that's actually one of the biggest benefits of my academy rapid fire music academy yeah you're going to learn how to make beats mix and master way easier than anywhere else in the planet and you're also going to learn how to attract a loyal fan base coming to you wanting to hear your music way easier than any other marketing strategy out there like that's not the point the point is you're getting around for lack of a better term people like me and people like our clients you're getting around other positive individuals like I just had a coaching call. I did like, this is my first time I ever did a one-on-two -on -two coaching call instead of a one-on-one. -on -one. So it was me, my client, Tyler, who's like brand new into the academy. Tyler already, after four weeks, produced, wrote, recorded, mixed, and mastered his first song. He's already gone through, like gotten that stuff done. Now we're moving on to building his music social funnel so he can start attracting new fans. So I was like, dude, I wanna link you up with my boy, Ryan Budvitis, AKA Steven Ryan, because Ryan got in the 90 days, Ryan got, 30 instrumentals done, five songs produced, written, recorded, and mixed in the 90 days. So I was like, dude, you guys would be perfect together. You guys have like really uh, similar sounds. So I put them together. We had an hour call. We all kind of shared ideas about what we can do to create great content as artists. And I kind of put them on game and kind of showed them, hey, here's some marketing strategies. Here's some tactics that you can use 
you know, to better market yourself, create content and grow a brand as a musician like I've done. So it was cool because I realized I sat back. I said, damn, you know, it's really cool. Like even I got to hook Tyler up with Ryan and even Ryan, Ryan now made a new connection. So it's like that's what we create in Rapid Fire Music Academy is really this like family and this community environment. You know what I mean? And so just wanted to leave you with this lesson of, you know, if you're a recording artist and you want to make music full time, first off, you need to have a set of skills. Second of all, you need to have a strategy to actually implement those skills to grow. Third of all, you got to get around the right people. It's crucial. So hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, stay tuned next week. I think I'm going to have one vlog dropping next week of my Euro trip with my wife. And then the week after that, I think I'm going to be dropping this, uh, this Florida retreat. So hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Talk to you on the next one. Peace.